Hello everyone. Welcome to UA Positive Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about add data column activity. Let me switch to UA Post Studio. Now let me go to activities and then if you go ahead and search for the column, you will find a lot of details like add data column, insert or delete column, delete columns and insert columns and so many. So now what is the reason why can't I use insert column or insert or delete columns to insert the data into the data table? Let me explain a small example. This delete column or insert column are using, you know, in the table only. That is nothing but if you observe in my previous session, like create table where we have used this delete columns and insert columns. Let me go ahead. Let me show you that one also. If you see when I'm going to click on insert in the Excel and then when I'm going to click on create, it is asking for the range, right? I'm going to tell it from this path, right? This is called create table. Only if you want to add insert or delete there, you can use this delete or insert column activity that is under table. Whereas if you see under processing that you will find insert or delete columns that is directly in the Excel itself. We are, I'm not going to use any kind of create table so that I can go ahead directly insert a column or delete a column. That is the activity that we have seen. But how can I go ahead and insert a data column in the data table? That is what we are going to learn it in this session. Now, if you see, I'm going to rolling back. If you see over here, I'm having some data. This data, I'm going to read it by using Excel application scope. Let me start with the steps which we are going to follow. This data, I'm going to read it by using read range activity. And then the data will be stored in which variable? That is data table variable, right? After that, if I want to add any data column to this data table, which you have read it in the read range activity, there's no activity except by using add data column, we can go ahead and we can add a data column. If you observe, I'm not going to add any kind of data. I'm just going to add a data column only. I'm not going to insert any kind of data like, you know, strings or integers or any kind of data. Once I have added the data column, with the properties after that once it has been completed i will write the data using right range activity these are the steps which we are going to follow and we will learn add data column in this session right now i am in the uepa studio let me go to the project i'm going to click on right click add sequence i'm going to give it the name as add data column this is the activity which we are going to do let me go ahead let me create it now, as the first step, we have to use read range activity. How can we go ahead? Let me do it first. First of all, we'll use Excel application scope. Let's drag and drop. And then if you see the Excel, that is students marks dot copy. I'm going to select that path. Student marks copy. Now to read the data, which activity that we want to read range activity. Let me drag and drop. Now I'm going to use sheet one. Yes, the sheet one and I'm going to read the entire data by using sheet one and the, uh, you know, entire range that I have given in the double quotes where I want to store. I want to store the data in the data table. So control K to set the variable. I will say output data variable data table variable and then click on enter. If you observe the variables, I'm having name output data table variable with the variable type data table and the scope is scope do scope now after reading that i want to add a column to the uh, you know data table variable so this is how it will look like but it won't show you any output in the data table variable what will happen this is the excel don't uh, compare these things over here i'm just showing how it will show the data now i want to add a roll number over here Okay, how can I go ahead and do, do that in the data table? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going in for the activities, add data. You can see data column over here. Let me drag and drop add data column. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties. For this one, properties are very important. If you see the input, what is the name of the column which you want to give it? Okay, 
that is i will give it as roll number that is the you know which i need to add it for the data table okay now what is the data table that we have that is the output of the read range is the input for the add data column now the data table is output data table variable this is the input for the add data column now i have given the all the inputs right now before going to show this options let me go ahead let me write the data first and then i will show you some of the output and after that again i will show you the options over here okay now we have added the column add data column we have done it now after adding we have to write the data how can we go ahead and do that by using write range activity right now write range let me drag and drop and now i'm going to give some other sheet i don't want to disturb the existing sheet i'm going to give it a sheet 4 and then the input is output data table once it has been completed now i will uh, show the message box process complete or else simply completed okay now let me save it let me go back to my excel i don't want right now over here i'm going to delete this j column okay now if you observe i don't have any roll number in the excel right i don't have any sheet 4 over here also okay what it will do it will create first it will give an output as a, by using read range activity it will give the data table over there for the data table i'm going to add a column that is roll number and the data table input right what is the input output data table and then i'm going to write it for the sheet 4 with the output data column this output data table variable having this roll number okay now let me go to read range i'm having headers yes i'm going to add data tables i'm going to having the entire data right range also i need headers let me go ahead let me check that option and now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see the process has been completed now if you see sheet 4 is there it has been generated a new sheet 4 and you can see the data the columns if you see roll number has been added and you don't find any data over here okay you don't find any data over here that is only the purpose of the add data column i just want to add a column only not any kind of data okay now let me go back and now we will see the options over here what is the purpose of these options if you observe in the data table it has to allow nulls or not if it is allow nulls then we are give option as true okay auto increment it has to let assume the roll number uh, it, uh, if i am going to give a roll number it has to accept null values yes or no no auto increment by one auto increment nothing but it has to increase by by some value it is true or not that i will give it as a true the default value if i'm not going to give any value there should be some value this will be used in a such a kind of scenarios like strings if you are going to give it even a, in integer type also you can give it some value that you can but here if you observe the unique values if you are giving the unique true or false nothing but based on the values which you are going to give all the roll numbers should be unique yes so if you're going to give true the default value only allows only for one time right and the maximum length the maximum length that you can see in how many till which number that you can go ahead and you can give that these are all the options you can give for the data table and then you can go ahead and you can insert the value but right now i'm not going to add any data to the data table that we will see in the next session by using add data row okay right now what i'm going to do i'm going to clear all these things now what i'm going to do to insert this data okay over here can you see right to insert the roll number over here how can i fill the data dynamically let me show you that how can i go ahead and do that first of all for the roll number will be start from zero right and the row number also will start from zero now to assign that i'm going to use assign activity so i will take multiple assign let me drag and drop multiple assign onto the panel now the first value is that role value 
I'm going to set a variable control K and I'm going to give role value and then I'm going to click on enter. The role value is integer. We have to give role numbers in an integer formatted or also we can give the string also, but right now we're going to work with integer. Okay. And the default value, I'm going to give the value as zero. Okay. And in the same way, row number, I'm going to give a row number where I have to, uh, you know, insert this output value. So I will start from zero. This is also that our variable data type is integer 32. Now we have assigned the value where, first of all, we need to insert or, you know, we have to update in the output data table and then we're going to be adding writing into the cell. Okay. Now what is what I'm going to do for each activity for each row where I can do that for each row. Let me go ahead for each row. I need to man do manipulations in for each row, right? Let me go ahead. Let me drag and drop for each row activity. And what is the input for this one? Output data table variable. Okay. So in the body, what we are going to do, we are going to be increasing this multiple assigned by one. Okay. What is the reason? I will tell you. Okay. Now this roll number, I'm going to increase by row value plus one. And after that, in the same way, roll number also, row number also, row number plus one. Now, if you observe, I need to start from zero, but before writing, I have to increase by one so that what will happen, this will be starting from one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So in the same way, row number one also, the row number one, it will be starting off over here, and then it is going to be increasing. Okay, now what I'm going to do after that, that I'm going to use right cell where for each and every cell, if you see J2, right? I need to write J2. Okay, let me increase by one over here and assigning value starts from one, the row number one. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use right cell in the same activity. Let me go ahead. Let me use the right cell. Let me drag and drop right cell after multiple assign. And then which is the sheet? I will say is sheet four, right? So this is the sheet four. And starting cell is J2, right? So I'm going to get the J over here. But what about two? If you see the row number automatically, now if you see over here, the initialization is one, one plus one equal to two, so that I'm going to give this dynamically. This is how we are going to get it, the row number, okay? row number dot two string because of we have to convert this integer to dot two string to convert into the integer uh, you know string format okay and then what is the output i'm going to write it the role value which we have right role value dot two string let me save the bot now let me explain you again first of all to insert the values over here in this row by using add data column, we have, uh, you know, added the column, but to insert the data dynamically with the row number one, two, three, first we have selected the row number that that is the row number. If you see two, how can we get one plus one, two that I'm going to increase each and every value by one. And after that, the row number, roll number will be start from one so that I have started with one over here. And then I'm going to write each and every cell of this one. Let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now, if you observe the data has been started one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Once the records has been inserted, it has been showing as process has been completed. I hope you understand how to use add data column to add a column in the data table. And after that, we have seen how to insert the data dynamically into the roll number by using different activities. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.